Hi there, my name is Dawn Devine and welcome to my studio, or at least the top of my table. Today I'm going to be working in my book, Color Theory with Pencils and Mandalas, that I co-authored with illustrator George Goncalves. Yesterday I spent an, about an hour working on this mandala, which features an analogous color scheme. An analogous color scheme are three colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. If you're interested in seeing a time-lapse sped up version of that hour of coloring, you can follow the link above. For this project, I'm using an affordable set of 36 Crayola colored pencils that you can find in any big box store, office supply store, and online in numerous places. I like to give each of my pencil sets its own unique and easily identifiable case. I'm using this green pouch for this set of pencils, which has this wonderful flap to hold sort of tools of the trade and all 36 of the pencils. I like to get myself all set up before I begin coloring. So I get a bowl to put my pencil sharpener in. You know, you can always use an old ashtray too. And I like to pull out the pencils that I will be using for this particular project. Since this analogous color scheme includes yellow, greens, and blues, I'm going to pull all of those colors. Then to make drawing super easy, I organize them in rainbow order. Um, I put the white near the yellows because it's a bright color and the black near and gray down towards the blue because it's a, a deeper tone. But uh, oh yeah, and I missed a yellow. And once I've got my palette set, there we go. Now I can color without having to worry about making too many choices. I have to make sure I have a cup of tea handy so that I won't go dry while I am drawing. And now that I am comfortable, my pencils are set up, I'm ready to go. My plan is to finish up the central medallion and I estimate that it should take about an hour to complete this project. So rather than watching for an hour, I'm going to speed this process up.
I near the end of this coloring session, I am finishing up with some blending using a blending pencil to just smooth out some of the gradations from light to dark. As you can tell from my method, I really enjoy creating three-dimensional effects in these two-dimensional drawings. If you like this video, please be sure to like, and if you'd like to see more, subscribe. Over the next couple of weeks, I will be bringing you more coloring demos where I tell you how I make these choices and use these techniques. I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Bye-bye.